YouTube, I am Brie Barton. Hello for those of you who haven't met me. So today I have a couple of cool announcements that I will be sharing at the end of this video. Make sure you stick around till then. And for those of you who competed in last week's challenge, I will be drawing one of your names from a hat. This hat. So today's video is the first in a four-part series that I'm calling Tales from the Trenches, How to Write Book Two. By the time my debut, Heart of Thorns, goes on sale on July 31st, I will have already written the second book in the trilogy. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you probably know that I'm not going to lie to you about the parts of this process that are really hard, because there are a lot of parts of this process that are hard. Writing is hard. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it feels like skiing down a, a, an avalanche. Sometimes it feels like falling into the avalanche. For me, writing the first draft is always the most exhilarating part, because I'm making new discoveries every single day. But sometimes being able to do everything Thing makes it hard to do anything because you have nothing but choices. So I thought I would chronicle my journey through writing book two, but hopefully these tips can also help you if you're working on a first draft of any book. So Tales from the Trenches, video one, characters. I recently heard something that I liked a lot. Your first draft is your character draft. You're really writing the first draft to figure out who your characters are. You're letting them talk to you. You're letting them go where they want in the path. And maybe you're gonna have to reel them in eventually and say, no, 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 you're, you're not going there. That's not where I need you to go. But your job in this first draft is just to discover who they are. Who are your characters, what do they want, and what will they do to get it? So today I'm going to share with you seven tips and ideas and fun ways to figure out your characters and have a lot of fun with this first draft. Number one, pick up with a new character. Personally, I like when book two expands the world and picks up with a character, either someone I didn't even meet in book one or someone I did meet and was curious about. I circled around this second book for a good bit of time before I was able to finally dig in and start writing it. And one of the reasons was I couldn't figure out if I was just going to keep with the same character. My book is in third person, but it's close third. So we really only stay with Mia Rose, the main character through the book. No spoilers, but things have changed at the end of book one, and I knew I needed to branch out. I chose a character who was different than Mia, someone whose style of storytelling would be different and hopefully feel fresh. No matter what you're working on, if you feel stuck with a certain character, pick another character. Write from that character's POV. Even if you don't use it ultimately for your book, it might break you out of feeling blocked. One tip here when you're choosing that new character, feel out what might be missing in book one or in your manuscript right now. Is there an energy that's lacking and could you use this character to embody that energy? Something I discovered as I started writing book two was that all of my ladies, and I have many, many women in my book, have this sort of swagger. They're witty and sarcastic. They like swords and they don't like gowns or skin greases. They're tough and they're smart asses. And I realized many of them are beginning to sound the same. So what did I do? I realized I needed a different energy in my book. I needed a girly girl, someone who rejoiced in gowns and skin braces and really liked being womanly and feminine. And that ended up being really fun to write. It stretched me out of my comfort zone of blustery ladies and made me fall in love with a character who is different than the other people in my book. Number two, how are your old characters different in this second? book. Wherever your characters are, things have happened in the first book that change them, or I hope they have. If they learn nothing and change not at all from book one, you might need to go back and, and revise. Are they deeply wounded and broken by the events of book one, which is, is, is my characters? Maybe a character who was all fun and games and lighthearted quips in book one is a different person now because of what happened to them. How are they more complex and more interesting than they were in book one? Three, character wheel. This is a really fun tip. You're getting kind of tired of the same character saying the same things to each other. Make a wheel of all of your characters. Just put someone's name in each pie slice of the wheel. Spin it twice and whatever character you land on, put those two characters together in a scene. I have not done a literal wheel because I don't understand uh, basic mechanics. But if you have a wheel or someone will make you a wheel, give it a whirl. See what they say to each other. Maybe it's two characters who've never been in a scene. Or you might find interesting things out about these characters. You might make discoveries because they say things to each other that you wouldn't have expected. If you are like me and you're too mechanically challenged to build a wheel, put your character names in a hat. I'm a big fan of the hat. Pick two out. Two characters. Two characters talking. 
Well, that was only three. Turns out I talked more than I meant to. I will do the remaining tips in a video on Monday. Thank you, my friends. That was Tales from the Trenches. Characters. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell icon below because that will notify you when I do a new video. And now for the fun stuff, a live drawing for the winners of last week's video contest. Here they are. Ready? Woo! They all came out. And they're all back in hand. Ooh, two. <sighs> Jessica! Jessica Alby! You will be receiving a $20 gift card. Thank you very much for playing. If you haven't signed up for my monthly newsletter, now's the time because at the end of this month, so next week, I will be doing my very first ARC giveaway. But I'm doing a second ARC giveaway if I can get to 650 subscribers by the end of this month. So I have one week to get you to 650. You can help, you can share my videos, tell people to subscribe to my channel. You guys have made this super fun for me and I'm very grateful to have you here. Go write your second book, go write your first book, go write any book, read a book, have some books, eat a book. Maybe.